Hello everybody and welcome back to something a little different. This is mega modded as you know it as usual but a few weeks ago I suggested about starting a new save file but starting a new save file where we still have dead god and all of the vanilla unlocks but all of our completion marks are white and all of the modded unlocks are locked still. So we have to go and unlock everything that is modded. And you guys like the idea of that. So with the update to Repentance Plus that officially adds the unlocks, I thought what better time than to start this now. So if we go over to this save file, this is our regular one, the regular mega, mega modded. We can see we're on an 18 streak there. But if we come over to this, we have nothing. No, no completion marks on any character. Not a single one yet. Everything is still unlocked as normal. So, we still have everything vanilla unlocked. We still have most of the modded stuff as we normally do, but we don't have the completion marks anymore. So, we're going to be going and getting the completion marks. So, I think to start this, we're going to start off simple as and play as Isaac. I don't know if I'm going to do a new thumbnail for this series. I'll, you'll have to see when you click on this video. It might have a new one. It might have the same mega modded one. I'm unsure yet because it is still mega modded at its heart, but I thought... It's going to be fun to have a little more guidance and a little bit more of an objective of what to do and where to go. I hope you guys like this idea. So let's just jump into our first run as Isaac and kick this off into the new one. Into the new sort of series, so to say. So of course we have this note from Repentance Plus saying, Repentance Plus was updated to include the unlocks and achievement system. So now we actually have that. But yes, jumping in as Isaac. And to kick this off, the question of the day, what did you think was your hardest unlock in Vanilla Isaac? I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you is going to be Tainted Jacob or Tainted Lost. But what for you was something that was really difficult? For me, I think it was genuinely something like It's the Key. That took me quite a while to get. Um, or like a lot of people say like the ultra hard challenge stuff like that So it'd be interesting to know what you thought was one of the hardest unlocks What was one of the hardest things to do and as a bonus bit of information? How did you end up unlocking it? What was the run that got you the unlock? Was it something really broken? Did you abuse some sort of bug or glitch? Did you abuse some really really overpowered synergy or did you just play really really well? It'd be really interesting to know so do leave your comments down below. Comments really help out this series. And for this new sort of reboot to the Ultra Modded series, the Mega Modded series, it'd be super nice to get your guys' feedback, get your guys' comments and likes and all that good stuff. I don't often ask for stuff like this, but when it's a new thing going on, I do like to uh, remind people. And we start off with a modded item straight away, the Fettered Heart. We've seen the Fettered Heart a few times before. This is an item that's essentially going to provide us with the ability to hit multiple enemies at the same time. By hitting an enemy and fettering them, is what I'm going to say. You'll see it happen eventually. Essentially, sometimes we'll fire a tier that will, like, chain an enemy. And once that enemy is hit, it will start hurting every other enemy in the room. It's kind of rare. I think it scales with our luck a little bit. So we're not going to see it all the time. But we'll hopefully get a few good wins here. We also do have, as you can see here when I press tab, the um, completion marks. Ooh, my map's gone all funky there. Um... We do have the, the extra completion marks visible so that we can track modded characters, know what we have left to unlock, things like that. I'm very happy to have that as an addition to the series. Obviously, before, we didn't really need that because we'd already gotten Dead God. But now, it's a little more, little more important for us. I need to fix my UI here. I've accidentally put up my timer and I don't know how. Uh, we'll check our thingy here. We do have restock, but I'm actually just going to buy the Soul Heart. And of course... We have to fill the donation machine again. I can't abuse it yet. How am I ever going to live? Now, one thing that I'm unsure of and I might need to tweak is... Um, I will check this just in case. And we got some good stuff here. We got Soul of Eden. Amplifies or changes books activation effects. I honestly might be intrigued to know what some of these books do. So let's, let's actually, so let's let's do this. Let's go crack on that, crack on that. Then we'll reroll both. Then we'll get that. And we'll get this. I'm going to pop this so we get a devil deal from our boss. Then we're going to pick up this. And then we're going to use Soul of Eden to get two different items. Unfortunately, moving box isn't that great, but that's pretty nice. we got some good stuff there. So right, let me just pause one second. Okay, we're good to go. I fixed the minimap issue. Let's carry on. Let's go. 
Um, I might want to min-max a little bit. Obviously, we can try and do boss rush and stuff early. We want to try and get completion max where we can. But I'm not in a rush to complete everything. And especially, it's going to be the modded characters that really start to unlock stuff. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few things here and there, Repentance Plus-wise, in the vanilla characters. Which is another reason why I decided to start this series. So I'm excited to get a few of those. But let's just jump in and fight the boss. But yeah, now we can actually take a little look. Oh, I, I, I just fixed my map and now it's back to being buggered again oh whoa you launched that guy so far i always forget how hard this boss is but yeah we got bookworm gimpy's pretty good for us to have here there you go i, I hit it there i just want to hide the timer um yeah they're gonna throw a lot out of us here it's okay i got hit on a black heart ended up hurting a lot of them anyways and we get goat head beautiful beautiful pickup goat head gimpy early on we are locked into devil deals now which is potentially an issue but it's okay Got ourselves a mini Isaac here. But yeah, if, if you, in case you're wondering, we're pretty much using the exact same, if not the exact same mods as we were in the uh, Ultra Modded series from the episode that you guys saw yesterday. Apart from the fact that we're now using the one I mentioned, the Completion Marks one, which I think will be just nice for keeping track. Nice for you guys knowing what we're doing. Nice for me to know what we're doing. Uh, we can check mid-run, but also... Ooh, goddamn. We can check for stuff mid-run, but also it means that we can actually see what some of the modded characters need. We don't have a trinket right now, so let's grab that. I did get hit, unfortunately, in that room. Not a great hit, I know. Uh, do you know what? Let's take out this guy first. Do you know, you walked in a really odd direction there. What? Why did you do that? <laughs> I thought he was going to just, like, walk into the corner of the room, but he was like, no, 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 sir. Not that. Never that. And then you can stay near that bomb. I love the way they'll, they'll, they'll run away from you, but they will stand directly next to an explosive that they know will kill them. Even though the, those explosives are baked into their body. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get ourselves a key here. Let's hope. Ooh, this is kind of a hard room. I think we got a double tinted rock here. Is that a double tinted rock? No, it's not. I always get those confused. This this floor specifically, oh god. Uh, always confuses me for if it's a double tinted rock or not. I'm not sure why that guy drops a half red heart. Oh, Gimpy. Of course. Excuse me, sir. Could you? There you go. Thank you. Oof. No key, unfortunately. Secret room is potentially just here. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's almost definitely here. Let's try that out. Nice. And some pennies as well. I was hoping for a luck penny there. Didn't get so lucky. We can at least push this over here towards this fella, though. But yeah, I don't know if any of you will be. But for those of you that are new to this series... If you're new to the Mega Modded series, then you can actually go into the description to take a look at all the mods I use. I keep everything in collections and I uh, update them regularly. I also have the collections separated out into three categories. There's one category that's a little smaller that's just general fixes to the game that fix things that are broken in vanilla. Um, there is another one that is character upgrades, like either visually or gameplay wise. Um, and then why are we dropping pennies on to be being here? Counterfeit Penny doesn't do that, does it? Maybe it does. Um, and then the other one is like gameplay upgrades, which is, oh, there's a fettered enemy, finally. Uh, which is stuff like new items, uh, new unlocks, all this sort of good stuff. So yeah, the fettered enemy, you can see it does this sort of like chained effect that hurts other enemies in the room. So we kind of want to be taking that enemy out first because it's going to help us take out the other enemies. Proving to be somewhat difficult, actually, because these enemies are just a pain in general. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Good, good, good. Definitely need some more damage. Of course, Bookworm is helping out right now. And we can maybe, maybe use... Um, okay, we've got a key, actually, I just realised. And maybe use D6 to get some good stuff on the Devil Deal here. Remember, we now have Goat Head, so that's going to be good for us. While held, special rooms will always contain beggars. I think that's definitely very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Oh, that was Swallowed Penny, not Counterfeit Penny. That's why. I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. Right, so what we got in here? Ooh... Rubber cement, hell yes. And they got a key beggar in there. Okay, so this beggar trinket could be pretty intriguing, especially if we get more money. Um, I'm wondering where we're going to find regular beggars. Because they're, they're the ones that we're going to play the most. We do, of course, have stuff like the new champions on the repentance floors. We also have just the updates um, from the vanilla game that got added. So the repentance re-sprites that were added in one of the most recent updates, which look very good, as you can clearly see. Ooh, taking some damage here, but Gimpy saves the day. Gimpy saves the day. I take dumb damage, and Gimpy is like, hey, I bet you didn't mean to do that, did you? We'll take that, but we'll check our Devil Deal, considering, and we will most certainly take Abaddon here. I like the Abaddon. I'll check this. I would like to maybe take that, but it would put us in a risky spot. 
Um, it would put us at one and a half. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We're not, we're not going to play really sheepish here. I will actually go back and try and bomb into my shop over here through the secret room. Because that might be able to save us and give us a soul heart. I, I, I'm going to guess it won't. But my heart of hearts say it will. My heart of hearts says it will. There you go. Beautiful. No donation machine to blow up. That that hits me deeply, that does. That hits me deeply. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do without my precious, precious donation machine. But we are looking rather evil right now. We have a, 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 a very um, <laughs> varied connect uh, connection collection of evil items. It's, it's, it's quite funny, actually. I quite like the uh, the setup that we've managed to garner here. Ooh, plus six range. Now, I do love having the beggars, but plus six range with bouncy shots, that's just too good to pass up. Our shots literally bounce across the entire room now. And considering we just got uh, the little horn shots, that's really good. You can also see our tier height is really high as well. Oh my god. That's quite funny. Yeah, I, I like this. A golden trinket is quite beautiful. But this is why I, I love the idea of repent uh, of doing Dead God Plus. I kind of did this a little bit with Rogue Luke, if you remember that series back in the day, uh, a few months ago. But I like the idea of being able to keep my Dead God unlocks, but being able to complete completion marks again. And by the way, if you're wondering how I achieved this effect, it's actually pretty simple. You do have to have Dead God on Steam to do it. Essentially, if you have Dead God, you have all achievements unlocked on Steam. You can create a new save file, go to the uh, stats screen and click Alt F2. And what that will do is that will match your unlocks, your secret unlocks in the game to your Steam achievements, but it won't fill out any of your completion marks at all. Got the B-bombs there. It's actually a pedestal mimic. Cheeky. I'm going to re-roll that. Um, do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll probably re-roll that again. That's not a great item, is it? I'd like something a little better, but yeah. Oh, I'm loving this plus six range with rubber cement. This is a beautiful, beautiful setup. Just wonderful. Just truly wonderful. But yeah, so if, you, if you're wondering as well what uh, the Repentance Unlocks, Repentance Plus Unlocks are, essentially Repentance Plus aims to add vanilla style content, um, which it does very well in my opinion, um, that fill out the unlocks for the characters, both tainted and normal, that don't have specific unlocks. If you remember, a lot of the characters' unlocks revolve around co-op babies, which considering the game now has true co-op, don't do anything really. They didn't really do anything before True Corp existed, but they especially don't do anything now. So now they, they've been given real unlocks, either items, new game mechanics, new chests, new uh, new rocks, new hearts, all this sort of good stuff. The sort of stuff that you've been seeing from the from the tainted character unlocks. It's very, very good. I'm very happy to have it. Um, I'm going to do the boss first here. I'm very happy to have it, and it just... It gave me the inspiration, sort of, to start the series. We got this guy to start with. Interesting. I'm not super confident with this run right now. Like, I think we're, we're doing pretty well damage-wise. But my health is just so utterly buggered that I feel like a lot could go wrong very quickly if I'm not careful. I mean, I'm a decent player at this game. I've got, like, 1,400 hours in it at this point. I should be pretty good. And some even more of, of that offline. Uh, money equals power right now isn't very good, but it's potentially later. And we will at least check this, and this is exactly why. Because now we've got nine lives. Um, so we can take... What the hell's this? Plus three broken hearts. Damage enemy will send out a tier that homes... Damage enemy will send out a tier that homes on an enemy. The tier deals damage equal to 10% of the number of broken hearts you have. That's pretty interesting. Um, so let's go... We need to go like that. Yeah, let's go like that. And then like that. Cool. That worked out. Okay, so we have nine lives now. We do have three broken hearts, but I'm interested to see how this item works. It sounds very interesting. It sounds cool. And we'll go and re-roll milk real quick. Ooh, this might open the secret room. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. And we'll crack that. Thanks, game. Thank you very much. Exactly what I wanted from this. We got a key. Honestly, we, we needed a key. That's fine. Obviously, HP now is really problematic. But I don't mind as much because now we've got nine lives. We can survive a death. 
We could survive nine deaths, actually. So, yeah, we're doing pretty well. We just got to try and build our HP back up. I like playing Risky in this game. I, I sometimes lose because of it, but I don't know. It's, it's the way I have fun, so... I also don't min-max very much. Any of you that are new to the series... Yeah, I don't min-max very often, but... Any of you that aren't new will know that already. But we can see these interesting little tiers here that are spawning. Um... They just kind of hang about. For some reason, I was assuming they'd home. Let me just go to my encyclopedia here and take a little look at the item description once more. Um, we'll send out tiers that home. It did say home. Okay, they don't seem to home. At least, not very strongly. Either way, seems cool. More tiers is always fun. They also seem... I think it's because of our tier height. They're spawning in really peculiar places. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. But you know me. I can't resist the risk. I cannot resist the risk. Stranger Tractor with this setup just seems stupid and great. I love the idea of it. Yeah, I think our tier height is really breaking stuff right now. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's quite funny. I'm going to go in here. Unfortunately, not really anything I want. I will take PhD, actually. PhD could provide us some good benefit. Like, no, no, not again. Or a balls of steel. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, we've created quite the run here now. Quite the run. Also, these, like, flying, hovering tiers seem to be doing some wacky stuff with uh, Stranger Tractor 2. Game does not like it, and I like that. <laughs> Breaking the game is my bread and butter. Yeah, that was pretty much guaranteed damage there, wasn't it? Oh, my lord. Good old piece of cheese. Thank you. And that gave us a health up as well. Beautiful. Um, and here we get another guppy item, which I feel we should definitely take. Uh, Succubus is kind of interesting. I'm just going to re-roll. And we got Bloody Lust. I'll take Bloody Lust. And we'll just leave it as that. Let's carry on down. I'm, I'm really liking this run so far. We've got some cool stuff going on. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm really a big fan of this idea. And I hope you guys are too. It's something quite different from what I normally do. And honestly, Isaac, Isaac's, it's doing, still doing really well on the channel. I'm really happy with how it's doing actually. But it's, um... I wouldn't say it's, it's exactly stale, but we definitely need something to spice things up a little, I think. I think adding something a little different, giving us a little more direction and a little bit more objective will definitely add to the experience, hopefully for you guys and for me too. I don't know how many of you uh, out there that watch the series regularly watch like all the way through an episode to see if we win or not, but hopefully having this will be a little bit more of a driving force to see if we do win um, and to stick around till the end of the episode. Because if you don't, if you guys don't know, by the way, viewer duration, like how long people watch a video for, also impacts how often your channel is recommended to others. So it's a, it's a, it's a good thing to have uh, people be watching your videos for longer. I'm just kind of trying to cover all bases here. People that like supporting the channel, which clearly is a lot of people at the minute, um, a lot, at least a lot more than normal. I'm very appreciative of it. Thank you very much to everyone that's been supporting the channel. But yeah, people that like supporting it, you can support it even more. <laughs> I sound like I'm begging at the moment, but I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to be transparent about my thought process. Oh, God. Okay, so Gimpy is providing for us. This is crazy. Oh, I love this. This is so stupid. Absolutely love it. Our HP is kind of skyrocketing up and down rapidly all the time. Causing some weird issues. But... That's what Isaac is all about, especially modded. Modded introduces some really, really funky stuff. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I think the rubber cement part of it is, is causing so much more like wackiness than it should as well. Okay, what you got to offer? Odd mushroom. More fire rate on this run? Yes, please. <laughs> Very minor damage down for that fire rate up as well. Very minor. How did I not get hit there? Wow. And the fettered enemies are doing a good job for us too. Even better. I'll check this out. Damn. Unlucky. 
Hello, pile. Champion pile, looking very good. Oh my lord. <laughs> Again, how did I not get hit there? This is silly. This is silly. I love it. Okay, so we'll take that. Sin robes is great. We'll just grab that. And Horror Babylon's actually really good for us right now. Because we'll enter it permanently. Pretty nice damage upgrade. And we continue onwards with this just crazy run. Crazy run. This run is not sane. Everything just gets pulled. It's the fact as well that all these tears from that red skull item, like they spawn above us and rather than above the enemy most of the time. <laughs> Which is just causing so many more issues than it should. It's pulling enemies towards us rather than away. Which is not the desired effect of Stranger Tractor for the most part. But it is often the effect that you get. It's kind of just like, well, you made the mistake. Deal with it. Oh, it's beautiful though. Just absolute chaos. We've got an item in here. Okay, interesting. I may partake in re-rolling that item. In fact, I will partake in re-rolling that item. And we'll get Botfly. Botfly is pretty good. I like it. Considering we've got the money and then some. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Every single room is just a complete gamble as to whether I actually make it out alive or not. A complete and utter gamble. I did not mean to go through here. That was very silly of me. You might notice that I didn't go to my item room. Oh my lord. Mum is broken. Mum is really broken. What on earth is happening? Ex game? Game? Why am I behind rocks? That was rude. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, let's take that. Let's check in here. Black chests unlocked. Very nice. Ooh, great item. Definitely taking it. Okay, let's check out Boss Rush as well. Oh, Parasite. How did you, how did you launch me over the rocks before, game? I'd like that right now. I'd love Parasite. It would be so broken. I'm just going to take this anyways. I I could die in here, but you got to remember I've got nine lives, so it's kind of like if I do die, it's okay. Like, I don't want to, but if I do, I'm not going to be super upset. <laughs> it's kind of to be expected at this point, honestly. Look at that. Look how fast. He's moving so fast his body fell apart. There's an eternal heart in there. Beautiful. Monstro 2, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. These items were not meant to be paired together. The world was not ready for this. Look at Haunt. He's, he's moving at the speed of sound. Haunt has never seen such breakneck speeds. Even Mega Fatty is, like, chugging along. Dude, he's so close to the wall. What am I meant to do? I can't believe I didn't get hit. Just what on earth is going on right now? <laughs> How am I meant to have any sanity during this? How am I meant to have any sanity whatsoever? <laughs> just this lingering trail just like pulls every boss directly towards it. It's just it's crazy. There's nothing they can do about it. Like Famine's almost dead and I've not even seen him yet. <laughs> Oh my god, just don't stand over the tears. <laughs> There's just this lingering, like, mass of tears over there that's just pulling everything towards it. I can't get near it, otherwise whatever boss is there is going to... Like, this guy, he's going to fire a brimstone, and he's going to be all over the screen when he does it. <laughs> okay, he didn't manage it, good. That would have been pretty tragic if he did, actually. Hello, war. What are you good for? No. No. <laughs> Don't do it, peep. Don't get dragged towards me, peep. I thought we already fought you. Oh, we fought the Forsaken before. Oh, Lord. Look at that scaled damage. It took like 45. Oh, my God. Look at Pin. <laughs> what the hell happened to Pin? 
Are you okay, bud? We haven't had a soul heart drop yet. Surprising. This is just nuts. We've probably only got like a wave or two left. I can't imagine with this craziness there's much left going on. Holy hell. Oh my lord. Stay out of the way. Shit goes down up there. The cage is here. He's not in the uh, in the, the critical mass, as we're going to call it. He's safe. And there it is. The odd mushroom. The saviour we never knew we needed. My goodness. That was quite something. That was quite something. Holy hell. We'll make our way down. I'm kind of hoping we get guppy at this point. We're pretty close. I think flight would help quite a lot here. Oh my god. Just... What is going on in here? As the meme says, how was I meant to avoid that? How was I even meant to physically see that or anticipate that? <laughs> oh, this is just beautiful silliness. What a way to start the series. I'll probably die. I don't know. I feel I feel like a boss is just going to wreck me because I can't control how it moves. In fact, no, I can control how it moves, but in an uncontrollable way. <laughs> What, uh, what was this? Stronger pills. I don't know why the Ipecac, um items are having such trouble loading the EID descriptions, but they are. Oh, you got me. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Still a little worried about my HP here, but we keep on trucking. We can actually get into that care room for free using Tooth and Nail, actually, so we should do that. Go, go, go. And boom. Care room for free. And we got a black out of it. Okay. One. Two, three, go. Cash room for free, baby. A lot of people don't know you can do that. I learned about it off BD1P. It's smart. That guy's literally an explosive ball of critical mass that's just flying around everywhere. Oh god, there's a key there. Not a key card, sorry. Okay, this dude doesn't want to pop his head up yet. There we go. He, he's just seen his brothers be massacred. Why would he want to, to be fair? That's a completely valid point. You tried, but the suction on my tears is just too strong. You cannot hold the suction that I have. <laughs> you think I need the red buttons? Pathetic. The red buttons need me. Right. Hello, boss, my old friend. I've come to see you again. I definitely need HP, so I'm just going to take that. There's Guppy. And we'll leave the rest. Guppy on the first episode. That's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know what to call this series either. I kind of want to call it Dead God Plus, but I also want to keep, like, modded in the title somewhere so people know it's modded off the bat. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. God damn, yeah, Guppy is uh, making this quite nice. Beautiful. There's another key there. Do you know what? We need the key. Honestly, we do. I'll take the key. I often leave keys behind. Like I said, I play pretty quick. If I don't need something, I leave it behind. But we do actually need that key, so I'll take it. That hit me. Okay. Okay, game. I'll accept that. Hello, sir. Like, those bombs, I, I've, got, I've got six, and I'm not even using the six that I have. So why spend the extra time picking them up? It's just pointless. Maybe I'll go through this L-shaped room here. That could be the right way. Calm down, sir. Calm down, bombfly. 
Death card. A speedy room for us there. Like that. Oh god. Oh god. Not a room I'm prepared for here. The amount of scaling damage we get there is insane. We're up to 14 exactly base. Fourteen point nineteen now. I have a feeling she's going to be quite dead. I got hit there apparently. Devil deal again. Check it out. Judas's fez is actually pretty good for us here. We'll take it. It did kill us for some reason. It shouldn't have done, but it did. I'm not really sure why. I don't want to take that. No, let's let's just let's just stick with what we know. Let's just stick with what we know. Um, I definitely can't fight Hush, <laughs> as much as I'd like to. I definitely can't fight Hush. We'll probably lose a few of our nine lives here, almost certainly, just due to the randomness that is this game. But we have Judas's Fez now, which is going to be Buckable Isle effect every so often, which is quite nice. It's also quite a big damage boost for us as well. I honestly didn't need it. I just took it because I like it. <laughs> it might have cost me the run if I uh, don't get some health real quick. Do you know what? Let's try it. Damn. Unfortunate. And this is a situation where I should have picked up the other bombs. You see, I'm always wrong somehow. That's not really what we're looking for, but thank you. You want my D6. I'm sorry, but that's a deal I cannot make. Yes, there's a soul heart. We're in business again. Oh, there's a balls of steel. We are even more in business now. And that's an eternal heart. Okay, things are really turning for us. Isaac v. Isaac, let's go. He's getting pulled around. He doesn't know what's hit him. I don't know what's hit me. <laughs> okay, and we've got the keys available for this, so let's just move along. Boom, boom, oh. Two good items straight off the bat here. Third good item and GB bug. Fourth good item. Okay, some good items here. Another balls of steel. Okay, things have t definitely turned our way this last floor. I mean, they were already going quite our way, but now they're going even more our way. Hello, sir. <laughs> You've been bested, small boy. God damn. The damage this run has gained. If you take if you take uh, Magneto, you're going to have a bad time, but you could potentially have a great time. It's all about perspective. It's an item that I both love and hate, but I will take it pretty much every time because it might ruin my run. If it ruins my run, then so be it. But it's just kind of like the risk is fun. <laughs> the risk that it might ruin my run is like, I don't know, it's addictive. Yard it as well. Look foot, thank you. How did I not get hit there? I think shielded tears saved me. The straw, it hurts. Okay, that's extra fire rate if we get hit. Which I'm sure we will get hit before Blue Baby or on Blue Baby. Hello, Pin and Skolex. There you go, we got hit. There's our plummy, plummy, plummy. Oh my god. They're just dying instantly right now. It's crazy. You've been taken out as well. Oh, a golden penny. I don't think we really need that at this stage in the game, but thank you. And this is pretty much going to be our first run. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Blue Baby's right here. I don't think we unlocked anything modded or new, but we did complete a good few completion marks. We got Boss Rush and the like. 
Oh god. And there you go. We will end that run there. And have a nice little time doing just a few completion marks of our first run. Only four to start, but as I said, this series will be long going. We'll try and complete them all as we progress through. I hope you guys enjoy this idea. I hope you guys like this new series of sorts. It's not really a new series, but it's kind of a new series. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.